first we discuss how we represent pressure there are two references mainly the absolute zero reference and and the atmospheric pressure reference the positive is called the gauss pressure and the negative part is called the vacuum pressure like the celsius scale in measuring temperature if we further go down on the negative side we will reach an absolute zero level or the space the gauss pressure that is positive above the atmospheric level or the pressure inside the coke bottle and the vacuum pressure negative now let's see how we represent pressure at different regions of scale for example here a and b represents two pressure points how we represent absolute pressure at a it will be at it will be atmospheric pressure plus gauss pressure gauss pressure that is positive and what will be absolute pressure at b it will be simply absolute pressure at b there is no change it's easy for vacuum pressure at b we need the negative side means this region that is atmospheric pressure minus the absolute pressure at b atmospheric minus minus absolute pressure simple now let's see what is a manometer manometer is simply a device or instrument to check pressure it is of three types mostly piezometer u tube meter single column manometer the piezometer only measures the gauss pressure that is it cannot measure the vacuum pressure and the u tube manometer can measure both gauss pressure and vacuum pressure we'll see how and the single column ma manometer is simply the u tube manometer with more sensitive readings okay let's see what is piezometer how it works so let's draw a section of pipe with a yellow liquid inside it let it be rho pressure inside the pipe pushes the liquid outside the piezometer and it is cancelled by or balanced by the atmospheric pressure which is our zero reference here so we calculate simply rho g h h is the height but vacuum pressure cannot be calculated for vacuum the air will go in and it will show no reading now let's see youtube manometer we have a heavy liquid we represent it with a red color ink yellow the liquid inside the pipe with density rho 1 let's see for gauss pressure the pressure will push the liquid outside and the red liquid will rise up and in the vacuum side the red will be sucked in for drawing datum we consider the lower part of heavy liquid height of heavy liquid from the datum will be h2 and height of yellow liquid will be h1 in both the cases lhp equal to rhp left hand pressure equal to our right hand pressure and the pressure inside the pipes be p so lhs will be p plus rho 1 g h1 rhp will be rho 2 g h2 and in the vacuum side we don't have any liquid on the right side that will be zero in the left side we have two liquids first it will be pressure from the pipe rho g rho 1 g1 h1 for yellow rho 2 g2 h2 for heavy liquid equal to zero simple these two formulas we will use for calculations